The following audio presentation features mention of graphic imagery and self-harm. Listener discretion is advised. My name is Sonia. I am 36 years old and I'm a station inspector in charge of a division somewhere central. <laughs> I can't say where exactly, just know it's somewhere quite famous. Quite a well-known area, I should say. I was posted there many, many years ago. My first posting, actually. Fresh out of the academy. It was one of those things where you're supposed to gain experience, you know? Try a little bit of this, a little bit of that. See how different places do things differently. And on one of the first few nights that I was on duty, there was a call that came in. At the time, I was so ready to go, so on edge, that when the phone rang, I nearly jumped out of my seat. <laughs> but I remembered the time, though. 11.55. Just before midnight. Hello, this is Police Post. How may I assist you? That was the call that changed my life forever. Uh, hello, sir? Uh, hello, please. Uh, please, can, can you send an officer sir, down? Sir, please, please slow down. Is anyone hurt? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Someone has been hurt. Okay. okay. Give me a second, sir. Can I confirm you? Your address is 17 Drive? Yeah, yes. Are, are we? He's my son. He's been attacked. After Dark, a brand new horror audio drama podcast brought to you by Media Corp. In our second series, we tell the story of Officer Sonia Chan, who had just been assigned to a neighborhood police post. She's looking forward to the change in pace, seeing as she will be serving a district known for its wealthy families and upscale shopping malls. However, just as she's easing herself into her job, she receives a case assignment that would forever change her life. So, when a station gets a call like that, what usually happens is that it'll be assigned a case number, and then it'll go to two of the officers on duty, whose job it is to hit down and investigate. My partner back then was Senior Staff Sergeant Jeremy Justin Liu, went by JJ. He had 12 years on the job, plenty of experience, even did a stint in the States for a couple of years, and came back with a permanent accent. <laughs> Just the kind of guy a fresh-faced officer like me needed. Is this the right road? It's so far in. Yeah, I think so. I mean, that's what the screen says. What do you mean you think so? Let me see. JJ? JJ, look out! <sighs> that was close. Man, this place always gives me the creeps. Why aren't there any lights in this area? I mean, come on, how are we supposed to see anything? JJ? It's really dangerous and our lights don't cut through these trees very well, you know? It's just so damn dark all the time. JJ. What? Look, I think we're here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are. It's beautiful. I don't know how else to describe it, but a mansion, I guess? The property had tall marble gates with intricate engravings, a long driveway with stretches of neatly cut grass. It had like three supercars there, and all of this coming from inside this narrow, poorly lit road and completely surrounded by forestry. I... I didn't know there was a house here. <laughs> Get used to it, Freshie. Come on, let's go. You call the police? Yeah, yeah, come in. So we walked up a long driveway, past the supercars, past the dog. Damn, look at all these cars. Gotta be at least half a million. Mm. What do you think this family does? 
JJ, front door. Oi, shut up! Uh, hello. Good evening, sir. Are you Mr. Robert Wong? Yeah, yes. Please, come in. I didn't know what it was, but when JJ went in, for some reason, I hesitated. Something about the house just felt off. Sean? Oi, Sonia! Uh, yes, sorry. Come in. The inside of the house was even more breathtaking than the exterior. A crystal chandelier in the foyer, abstract art on the walls, marble covering virtually every surface, and the centerpiece? A magnificent spiral staircase with gold trim railings leading to the second floor, where there was a woman leaning against the banister. Officers, this way please. This is my wife, Charlene. Hi, hi. Maybe go back to sleep. I can take care of this. Ayo, how to sleep now? So much going on. I've got it, okay? I'll tell them everything. It's okay lah. I just listen also. <clears throat> Sorry, sir. You said your son was attacked? Yeah. And where is he? In his room, at the end of the hall. Come. The hall. Man, the hall was something else. Long, dark, and just creepy, you know? No doubt the lighting was supposed to be classy, but in the night it just made everything look so dim and unwelcoming. But you know what the strangest thing was? The smell. Oh, uh, do you smell that? Huh? Oh, the smell, huh? Yeah, I don't know where it comes from, eh. Comes and goes one. My hub's called the professional cleaners, exterminator, plumber. Oh, don't know what is it, eh. Still charge us for consultation fees, amo. Oh, lao, eh. Damn annoying, ah. Yeah, we got the news to it already. Okay. This is Aaron's room. But I warn you first, ah. He, uh, it, It's quite bad. A boy. Oh, yeah. Okay. The first thing you notice about the room was how dark it was. Then you slowly start to get a sense of the size of it. The massive bed, the giant wall-mounted 60-inch TV, the huge study desk by the door. And finally, as if to throw it all into perspective, you see the books. Great Gatsby, Lord of the Flies, A-level chemistry. Ah oh boy, it's okay, police here already. Go away. And there he was sitting at the far end of the bed. Aaron, the only child of the Wongs, the one his father claimed had been attacked. At first, nothing seemed wrong with him. His hair was wet, he was wearing a clean shirt, looked like he had just stepped out of the shower. Oi, police is here, behave yourself. Hi, you must be Aaron. We received your father's report that you were attacked. Uh, boy, 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 show them. No. I said show them. Ah, ah you see, you see? All across the front of his body were gashes. Long marks scratched across his skin, burning a deep, furious red, running down his forearms and then his chest, down his stomach, and even to his groin area. Who, who did this to you? Pa, why did you call them? What else you want me to do? Wait, this just happened, right? Yeah, in the middle of the night. All of a sudden, my boy started screaming, but when I came in, all I saw was him in the corner of the room over there, uh, just curled up like that. And you didn't see anyone leave the room? Any suspicious activity? Nope. Nothing. Aaron, can you tell us what happened? How did you get these wounds? Uh, mm, I... I uh, Boy, just tell them la. Was it an intruder? I told you already, I didn't see anyone. <sighs> Sir, could I kindly please ask Aaron to tell us what happened? Aaron? Why? Just tell the police what you saw! Aaron, was there someone in the room with you? Look, the window's open. Is that how they got in? No. No, I... I, I don't know. I, I don't know what happened. Aaron, it's okay. We're here to help. You just need to think back and tell us. Ayo, boy. Ah. Don't waste their time. Lah. Mr. Wong, Mrs. Wong... I think he needs some rest. Aaron, we'll be outside when you're ready to talk, okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. 
The whole thing just felt so strange. Nothing in the house seemed out of place at all. I mean, how do you attack someone like that and not leave a trace? Nah, officers, for you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So, has your son always been this quiet? Yeah, yeah. He's always been a quiet boy. La. But recently, I think it's also the stress. A-level's coming. Uh, he's either in school, uh, studying, or going for a CCA. Swimming. He's a swimmer. Very good at it. But I tell him studies still come first. Better not get distracted. And how stressed would you say he is? Mm, well, recently, his grade not so good. La. I mean, they, they are still good by local standards. But you know, we want him to get into Harvard. Oh, wow. Must be a lot of pressure. Yeah. But he has always been able to handle the stress. Since young, Aaron always did everything by himself. Uh, always got good grades and awards. This thing, it shouldn't affect him at all. Hmm. Sir, if you don't mind me asking, is there anyone else who lives or has lived in this house? Uh, ah, we had a mate. But she retired a month ago, I think. So she hasn't come back since? I think she went back Myanmar leh. Okay, so in this house, it's just the two of you. And Aaron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, occasionally his mother would come back lah, but, but just to see Aaron. His mother? Biological mother. Oh. Ah yeah, she won't do anything one lah. Her own son leh. Okay. Could you tell us a little more about your nightly routine? Would Aaron always be the one to sleep first? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, mostly lah. Because he usually wakes up at 5am for swimming training ma. Uh, so he has to sleep around 10, 11pm like that. So, just now after 10pm, you didn't notice any suspicious activity? No ah. Everything normal. No one loitering outside your house? No funny noises? That kind of thing? I guess when you think about it, only the smell law. Damn strange, right? The smell. It was like this weird mixture of flowers and rotten eggs or something. Horrible. One of the foulest things I'd ever come across. And Mrs. Wong was right. It was strange. Now that we were back in the living room, the smell wasn't as strong anymore. Uh, Mr. Wong, I noticed you have CCTV cameras all along the hallway, the foyer, and outside of the house. Yeah, yeah, in case the maid steals anything, happened twice already. Can we have access to the footage? Perhaps that will help our case. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, go and get the footage, okay? Okay, B. Officers, just make sure you solve this, okay? Sir, we promise we will do our best. In the meantime, we'll do a quick inspection of the house. Just to make sure that there's nothing else around, okay? Uh, okay, okay, yeah, go ahead. Uh, let me know if you need anything. So we started looking around the place, right? Check the doors. Anything? No. The windows. Anything? No. And even outside the house, just to make sure. Anything? No! Nope. But again, nothing seemed out of place. Not even outside of Aaron's window. Just a lot of trees and hedges and branches all twisting and dangling in the shadows. <sighs> At that point, we were bracing ourselves for a lot of long nights ahead. Your coffee, JJ? Uh, thanks. So, what do you think happened here? Burglary? Robbery? Maybe a bully from school or something? You didn't notice, did you? Notice what? The scars. There were scars on his arms. Clear as day. He's definitely done this more than once. More than once? Made those gashes on his body. What else? Wait, so you're saying that he did that to himself? Mm-hmm. But why would he? Stress from his exams, pressure from his dad, girlfriend issues. I don't know. You tell me, Sonia. You've been a kid once, right? I'm sure this isn't the first time you heard of a teenager hurting himself. Yeah, but I don't know. And he didn't want to tell us anything. I'd say it's pretty straightforward. Okay, look, there he is. 11.06 p.m. Write that down. So we were watching the tape, right? And Aaron first shows up at around 11 p.m. He goes into his room, 
closes the door behind him. And that was pretty much it for a while. Fast forward a bunch, and we see Robert going into his own room, which was just two doors down from Aaron's. Another few minutes of silence pass, and then, at around 11.47 in the video, Aaron's door slams open. Wait, did you see that? <laughs> Must be the wind, relax. That's what JJ said, but I was pretty sure that it was no wind. I mean, it looked as if someone had shoved the door wide open. And then Aaron comes into the frame again, this time from inside his room. He's got a book in his hands and he's come up to close the door. All of a sudden, however, his expression changes. His eyes open wide, his jaw starts to hang, he starts to grow pale, and he seems to be seeing something beyond the camera. What in the world? Then he just starts freaking out, flailing about, thrashing his arms wildly, falling onto the floor and scrambling backwards into the corner of the room. What the hell is going on? Kids a psycho. Look, there's nothing in the room. Sure enough, there wasn't anything there but Aaron. And yet, there he was, holding his arms out to protect himself, and screaming for his life. A few moments later, Mr. Wong rushes in. Aaron looks up, and whatever it was that was attacking him seems to have disappeared. The poor boy bursts into tears and retreats to his dad. And that was when Mr. Wong picked up the phone and called us. Well, I think I've seen enough. The kid's clearly lost it. Hey, come on. How could you say that? What? It's true. Look at what he's doing. Wait, look. You see that? See what? The blood on his arms. They weren't there before. There. The resolution of the video was poor, and most of the time, the angle of the CCTV was hiding his body from us. But within those few frames where he shifted, it was clear for the world to see. Bright red gashes running across his forearm. Gotta be self-inflicted. Probably when he dropped to the floor. Come on, John. This is an open and shut case. JJ. I'm going to talk to the father. We'll break the news to him that his son is going through a lot at the moment and that it wasn't an intruder, okay? Mm. John? <sighs> Oi, I'm talking to you! Yeah. Okay, sure. Let's go speak to Mr. Wong again in the morning. Good morning, officers. I wasn't expecting to see you so soon. Investigation over already? Yeah, so, about that. Could we kindly speak with you and your wife? Uh, Charlene. Uh, Charlene went out early in the morning. She goes for one of those uh, workout classes, you know, uh, at the gym. Hey, but you two can come inside. Uh, can I get you coffee or something? Uh, yeah, sure. That sounds great. So, Mr. Wong, how's Aaron doing? Aaron, he's upstairs. I got our family doctor to give him an MC, so today he can rest at home. Were there any more issues? Did anything else happen after we left last night? No, no. Uh, as far as I know, he's fine. I slept through the rest of the night. Uh, I woke up at 7 and until now, he's been in his room the whole time. No sound. Thank goodness. Okay, uh, so you two take a seat. Uh. I'll get you the coffee. Thank you. Thank you. Black, okay? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, sure. <clears throat> okay, so what have you come to tell me? Well, Mr. Wong, we spent the entire night going through the CCTV footage that you gave us. And we don't believe that Aaron was... attacked? What? Just to clarify, based on our investigation, we have found nothing to suggest that anyone was in Aaron's room with him last night. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I, I don't understand. Sir, we're saying that there was no intruder, no attacker, nothing at all to suspect foul play. Wait, 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 wait. So, so the wounds? We saw the scars on his arm, sir. This probably isn't the first time that this has happened, right? Uh, I'm sorry, but after I heard Aaron screaming, I immediately called the police. Sir, I understand. It's still enough time to- I'm telling you, it's not possible. Sir, I know it's difficult to accept- Look, officer, I know my- How son. long has this been going on? I- I- <sighs> About two weeks now. He's been waking up 
in the middle of the night, uh, yelling with these marks and uh, these scratches all over himself. But you didn't call the police back then? It wasn't so bad at first, okay? It, it was just a few scratches here and there. We, we thought he was having nightmares or something. But then it started getting worse and worse. But Mr. Wong, you must have watched the CCTV footage, right? You must have known that there was nothing. But how else do you even explain it? You saw it, right? The door would open by itself. And the window also, no matter how much we locked it. Something was definitely wrong. I could feel it. And that's why we called you. But did you ask Aaron himself? Look, Aaron is my son, okay? I've raised him throughout all these years. I know he wouldn't do something like that to himself. JJ. But what if he just wanted some attention? Maybe he felt like the A-levels were too much that he needed a bit of support? Maybe he just wanted his father to give him... Maybe we should speak to Aaron ourselves, huh? John. Wh why don't we just, you know, ask him directly? Uh, yeah, you saw already, he won't talk. he will always be like that. We could always try a different approach. I mean, he's a teenager after all. And you have a lot of experience talking to teenagers? Well, before I joined the police, I did work in a counseling center. Okay. Okay then. Go ahead. Uh, sure. Yeah. He's upstairs, right? JJ, are you going to be here with Mr. Wong? Yep. Best of luck, John. Eventually, I came up to Aaron's room. I pressed my ears against the door and heard nothing from inside. So I tried knocking. Aaron? Aaron? Nothing. So I figured I'll just try and open the door, you know, in case something happened to him. And guess what? It was actually unlocked. Aaron? The first thing that hit me was that smell. It was so overpowering, I swear to God, I almost threw up on my uniform. Aaron? And then I saw his bed, or rather what was Aaron? left of it. The expensive duvet, the blanket, the pillows, all tattered and destroyed. But here's the thing, it wasn't like it was done with scissors or knives, no. These were ripped to shreds, claw-like, animal-like. What in the world? Then I saw the books, the A-level texts, the stationery all strewn across the floor, bits and pieces and pages everywhere, and then finally, I saw the blood. A long, Aaron? dark red Aaron? trail leading from the bed to the window. I rushed over to look outside, but there was nothing. The window was open, the curtains were fluttering in the morning breeze, but the blood trail just stopped right at the edge. I tried to see if he had fallen or something, but again, nothing. No sign of Aaron. No sign of any disturbance. Just the garden and the shrubs unchanged from the night before. Aaron! Aaron! But then... <laughs> Aaron? Is that you? Where are you? Aaron? Aaron? Are you in here? Aaron, open up. It's Officer Chan. Aaron! Please, go away, please. I, I, I beg you, I... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Aaron, uh, I need you to open up, please. I'm so sorry, please. <laughs> Aaron, stay where you are and don't move, okay? I'm going to kick down this door on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh my god. Uh, he was huddled in a bloody mess on the floor. It's gonna be okay. Blood and scratches uh, all over okay. his body and neck. At that point, I knew for sure that he couldn't possibly have done it to himself. In all the years that I would go on to accumulate on this job, out of all the horrible scenes and cases that I would go on to witness, that image and that moment would forever haunt me. Something was doing this to Aaron Wong. Something that I wasn't sure was entirely human. Please, believe me. <laughs> Thank you.
you for listening to this episode of After Dark. New episodes will be released every other Friday at 10 p.m. And you can follow the podcast on the Me Listen app, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Google Podcasts. Episode 4, The Case, was produced and directed by Danny Cordy. Screenplay was written by Carl Gunn. Editing and sound design by Danny Cordy with mixing from David Chu. And assistance by Gareth Fernandez, Gabby Pang, and Nadaraja by Ravan. The overall story takes influence from the Wattpad story, Stillborn, The Legend of Pontianak, as written by Dr. Elmi Zulkarnain Osman. The cast for episode 4 features Rachel Chin as Sonia, Adam Tun Ang as JJ, Vester Ng as Robert Wong, Tan Rui Shan as Charlene Wong, and Bright Ong as Aaron Wong. Finally, the After Dark Podcast is an original MediaCorp production developed in partnership with Wattpad Studios and recorded at IMDA Pixel. Your executive producers are Barry Toe and Sapna Angural from MediaCorp, and Aaron Levitz, Eric Lerman, and Dexter Rong from Wattpad. Reproduction of any material associated with the podcast is strictly prohibited without the express written consent of MediaCorp. We hope to see you again as we continue the story in the next episode of After Dark.